Hi guys, Quinn here again for Micro Graphics Devon, application engineer. Just wanted to show you guys something that I've seen a person recently have an issue with. And it actually didn't really occur to me because I've been using Palm for quite a while. And especially when you're beginning, this can be very frustrating. I still remember my first time when trying to click on things and plant, I was like, why can't I select certain things? Like for an instance, if I click on a tank, I can't click on the nozzle or something. If I try and click on a nozzle like this, it wants to root pipe. And now it's complaining because I have accidentally got the wrong spec enabled, but that part pass of course. So the thing is, how do I then select the nozzle? Well, for the new people out there, you hold control on your keyboard and you left click the nozzle. Cool. Then you can click the little pencil icon and you can then change the nozzle details as you see fit. That's all you need cool 100% happy for you good I hope that's gonna help but wait there's more because now this isn't a slight bit of an issue with plants but it can easily be rectified if you know how now what I mean about that is that let's say you've got a copy of this vessel or otherwise I have trying to gravity feed from this vessel or tank to this vessel or tank. Now, as you're probably aware, um, it's not such a great idea to just put a straight line in between it. You normally want like a runner rice type scenario or you want to angle the pipe at a certain degree in order for it to go from tank to tank. Now, if you've tried this before, you probably realized it's not very easy to get this right, but there's actually a way that we can actually do this. Uh, let me first quickly show you something that oh, why this becomes a bit of a problem and that if I select the tank and I select a nozzle and I say if I leave it on radial you'll notice we get given height length angle even I other orientations or inclination but the problem is even if you're good at math and you work this out um, use <laughs> using trigonometry Mm, it, it's still going to be problematic because if the angle is under one degree plant doesn't like it very much it's trying to it's always going to try and round itself off which when you're rooting these nozzles can be very frustrating now don't get me wrong i think math is a brilliant thing but in this case it kind of is a little bit twitchy so how do we get around this it's actually very simple but it does require a little bit of creativity in that if you've got your two tanks now these two tanks are on the same all oh, are they showing like a x y so they are not moved off each other which makes it easier if they were moved off it would create a little bit more of an issue in that you would have to then develop it and then rotate your development around but for now i'm just showing you the easier way to make things easier to understand if you don't understand what i just said don't worry about it you'll probably run into this problem some point and then understand <laughs> but for now let's just do it this way okay so what I've done firstly is I've just drawn this line down the side of my tank and um, and let's say for this case I'm going to draw another line to this tank I'm just going to the quadrants this is just gonna help me with my development a bit so I'm going to say okay so from this tank I'm going to go down by let's say 400 so this would be 400 to the top and on this tank I'm going to go oops excuse me select line select my line and I'm going to go down and let's say this one I'm going to go down by 600 cool so now I've got my line there I'm just going to make sure that my automate off and then I'm going to come over here and put my endpoint snap Ooh, and I can't select it. Let me try and get rid of this other line that I've drawn here. The only reason why I had that line running down was so that I could easily locate that quadrant. Didn't realize it would be so easy for me to locate at that time. Let me try this again. So I'm going to go to this endpoint. To this endpoint. So now what I've done basically is I've developed a line running down 400 from this one's top and 600 from that one's top 
and then drew my angle line between. So this would be the run of my pipe. Now, how do we get the nozzles to run? This is actually an easy part, believe it or not. You've done the hard parts already, congratulations. You select the first tank, select the add nozzle button, and in here in your nozzles, via the location, you use the drop down bar radial, and if you've ever wondered what line was about, no, it's not an addict or something, you go line, select line, and then you select the line that you want. And how easy was that? Change it, change your class, or pressure class, or whatever you're doing. And for your second. Oops, showing the same location. Uh, been a bit naughty there, I've just been clicking lines or adding stuff without looking. Okay, I'm going to go to change location, select a line, I'm going to select the same line. Cool, close. Let's make sure that I'm in a spec that will actually work. And now what will happen is when I try and root pipe, I can root pipe easily between them. And that is how you can do a complex connection between two tanks. I not have to worry. Thanks guys. I hope that helps you. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Cheerio. Bye.